Hey all, um, I've been waiting for this for quite a while. Um, it's the Asus Zenbook Duo, the uh, dual screen OLED. It's the one with the magnetic keyboard. So you have the uh, normal screen, bottom screen, and then a the keyboard that sits on top to put it into a normal laptop mode. And then when you take the um, keyboard off, you can prop it up on a stand so you've got dual monitors. The stock's not been great in the UK, so I've probably been looking toward it for like two months. And uh, anyhow, I finally became in stock on John Lewis, and um, I've got the i9 version. So I'm quite excited to, um, to open it up. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing video and um, also Geekbench it because when I was looking for Geekbench specs no one seemed to have the specs on YouTube so I thought I might as well make them. So uh, yeah, I'll just cut to the uh, unboxing and then the video will finish with the specs. So let's go. Just got a little scalpel to open the box by the way because uh, i know there's a bit of a competition with the youtubers where they like who's got the biggest pen knife and um mick dundee turns up with a now that's a knife anyway um sorry about the dodgy big accent there <laughs> let's have a little look see cut that the other way see you right. uh -huh, it's a prettier box inside Zeus is one of the best uh, PC brands, I believe. Right, let's have a look. Let's see, and in here we have. What do we have? What's in the box? What's in the box? Anyone who knows movies, tell me what that is in the comments. Um, pretty charger, and a very exciting kettle plug. The Asus pen here, um, it's pretty handy, it's nice that you can draw on it as well. But I convinced myself I'd be an artist when the Surface uh, Studio and Surface um, tablets came out and uh, that was a bit of a, a novelty which um, I didn't follow up after a month but I had to convince myself to buy one for one reason or another because I'm a bit of a gadget nerd. Uh, that's everything in that box. Open the main box now. Just give this a little nick and tear it off because I am a bit fussy when it comes to keeping boxes nice. I store them all in the loft if I have the space. You know, I did have to throw out my TV box recently because it was huge. It's quite a nice. Uh, Bit of foil on that box there. It's got a nice um, matte feel to it as well. That's the uh, printer in me. But no, it's a uh, good quality. Expensive to print. Oh, looky, looky. I do like a new gadget. It's been a while since I bought one. The last, uh, well, I bought the Mac Studio. Actually, I'll probably put the Mac Studio specs in the Geekbench to show the comparison. Um, how it compares against this laptop. Uh, oh, it looks lovely. Oops. Don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a spot UVA kind of look on the case. Uh, in search of incredible, just use your warranty user guide. That's uh, I'll Google when I need to know something. Sorry, I'm not sure. Really. Versatile dual screen monitor. There's a little picture of all the different modes, but I'm sure you've probably come across some of these videos or watched some already. So, yeah, probably don't need me to go on too much about that. Right, let's actually look at it. Start at the bottom. A 
lovely jubbly. Uh, but the camera stopped a couple of times, so if there seems any sort of breaks in this, it's because of the writing limitation and speed of the SD card. Don't know why my camera's playing up, it's usually all right. I've not even got the frame rate very high, but I am recording in 4K. Uh, that's got a nice panel there. Um, I think you can probably upgrade the memory. Don't know about the hard drive, I need to look into that actually. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet already, but they are dissipating. Let's get that out of the way. Let's have a look. Uh -huh. There we go. Yep, you can see that on the screen. Let's take this cover off. Take the magnet cable off. That's a second screen. Mm. It does look pretty. I wish Apple would make stuff like this. I've become so conservative lately. The hardware performance is good, but the stubbornness to not create anything with a touch screen is annoying. I think they'll end up giving in eventually. But until then, it's to almost go to Windows for any kind of innovation. Oh, that's nice. It's got a nice sort of matte metallic look. Nice big uh, touchpad, sound by Harman Kardon. And that just should. Um, voila! Have a little look see and fire it up. Power! Let's see if it's not. Oh, I'm such a dime bar by the way, because uh, that's a stand. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Now we have lights. Wakey wakey. Aha, there we go. Little SUS logo. Just turn it around so the camera can see a bit better. To get going, you'll need to connect your keyboard. We have a switch. So look, see, turn it on. Bluetooth on. I guess it says type of pin in four nine eight seven zero four. Bloody English. Four. Eight, seven, eight, four. Yeah. There we go. We have a mouse. That's just a moment. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on the rater by pressing Windows and Control and Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows and U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. United Kingdom. Yes, that's right. Yes. Mm, nope, we don't have the second layout. Right. Anyhow, um, I'll be back now when I uh, geek bench the specs because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and fall asleep with me doing the usual connect, username and password, etc. So I'll catch you soon. Hello, um, it's a couple of days later now, so I've given the Asus a good setup with all my most popular apps. Um, I've done the benchmark on the M1 Mac Studio and this new Asus uh, Zenbook Duo to uh, just compare specs really and see, because I'm quite happy with how my Mac performs and I want it to have a similar kind of performance uh, for mobile. So um, yeah, oh, by the way, I'm recording this on the uh, webcam 
of the uh, Asus. So I'm just using OBS Studio to uh, do a screen record. So let's uh, open. So Mac CPU. All right. On the top left is the performance. Let's just open the Asus one. So the single car performance is very similar. Um, 2385 on the Asus, which is the right hand side, versus the 2419 Mac Studio. And the multi car performance is very nearly identical as well. 12668 versus 12634. Um, I rendered a time lapse in LR time lapse. Um, for those that are not familiar, it's basically the you put all your time-lapse images in Lightroom and then you've got this external piece of software which helps you color grade and render it into a video. Um, yeah, I've rendered quite a long one and the performance felt very similar to the Mac. So, yeah, I wasn't disappointed at all. I was quite pleased actually. Um, right, let's have a look at the uh, GPU performance. So it's 57991 on the Mac and 29141 on the um, on the Asus. So yeah, there's a, a fair difference there. Um, I need to look into um, the graphics a little bit more. So I was reading on DaVinci Resolve that um, certain CPUs prefer OpenCL and others uh, CUDA. Um, I'm not that au okay fait with, with all the nitty gritties, but um, just from real world experience, I rendered a 4K video on DaVinci Resolve on the Asus and it was pretty similar to the Mac as well. I know the um, DaVinci Resolve is a lot more GPU heavy, whereas LR time lapse is mainly CPU. But um, yeah, it's done what I wanted it to do so far. I'll probably at some stage use the same files on both the Mac Studio and the Asus um, just to see how long it takes to render and export. But the main thing is I bought the Asus to do similar work when I'm on the move or in the house because of my studio, Mac Studio is in my print office. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. The dual screens are beautiful. Um, I love an OLED. Um, and because of these way the screens are laid out when the stand is um the kickstand is out the top screen is at eye level so you do have a more desktop feel especially when you use an external mouse with it it's it's very comfortable um i actually have visions of me using this in my vw camper van when i go away i've got a rotating passenger seat so i was going to get a roll out sort of folding table so i can imagine when i've been shooting if i'm a bit eager to share the photos i can actually render at night um or in the morning so yeah first impressions i'm really pleased with it so um obviously there's some more nitty gritties with a, a, a breakdown of i'll just show you quickly um the open seal performance per category background blur face detection it's the mac one and This is the uh, Asus one. Actually, let's just put them side by side. But I'll probably put a link for you to download these for those that want to look more thoroughly at it. Um, background blur, 71 versus 95 images a sec. It's not bad, is it? It's 75% roughly. Uh, face detection, uh, that's a little bit slower. Horizon detection. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, um, the Max... Featuring which is not too bad, but the Gaussian below is not bad actually, it's not far off 75%. Edge detection is a, a huge difference by the looks of things on the uh, on the Mac. Particle physics, again, yeah. so most of it's about 75% on them breakdowns by the edge detection, but yeah, lots of proofs, I'm not that okay with those, so if anyone knows the nitty gritties a bit more, I'd like to comment. But um. Yeah, what else can I say about the Asus, really? If you want to know 
um, anything about the ASUS, drop a comment and I'll make a, a little short or similar um, to help. But, um, yeah, it's early days. It's uh, I'm only a couple of days into using it, but yeah, I really love it. So that'll be all for now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my uh, quite young channel. Thank you.